me and I'm going general secretary. I'll go in general secretary pardon me and I'm going deputy general secretary yes uh, and I, I'm going away <laughs> Yes, sir. It but means I'm not going to hold my position again. But those who are contesting for your position, I mean, the, your boss's position as a general secretary's position, yes. there are some illustrious individuals in that list. Knowing the kind of work that pertains in that position, secretaryship, do you think the people who are vying for that position have the wherewithal to occupy such an office and deliver, in your own words, the aid? That you yeah, you see, the position which I find myself now, having regard to the fact that I've demonstrated beyond preponderance of probabilities that I have uh, an agenda to prosecute and an agenda to pursue. I intend opening a new chapter in my political career. I don't want to concentrate on one single individual. The, the, the accounts of it saying that my mommy couldn't be here, my papa. My papa is be here, my mommy. I support all of them, those who are running for the various positions. I am with them, they are with me. I pray for all of them. I wish them good luck. By virtue of the agenda I want to prosecute in the foreseeable future, I want to keep a very low profile, monitor things. But the most important thing for me is that we need caliber of characters who help us to break the eight. That is the agenda. That is the agenda. But, but some have said, for example, that the crop of executives, some of who are outgoing, failed the party in some respect because you lost a lot of votes, you lost a lot of seats, That's, for which reason we saw a hung parliament, which is making your governance, according to some watchers, a bit tough. That is never correct. You know, we don't need to go into these issues. These are matters, you know, in life, well, it's full of ups and downs. Those who believe in theology, or those who've learned a lot of theology, you have ups and downs. Some, I'm not blaspheming, somebody said Jesus Christ, you no, know, he fell three times. Then he got up, he fell, he got up. And that is life. And it's full of ups and downs. And the most important thing is to learn from our mistakes, then project ahead, and then vow not to um, com vow not to commit such mistakes again in the future. So that is it. Let's not be crying over spoiled milk. Okay. Um, some have said that some of the proposals that were made uh, at the last um, conference, for example which include, among others, to expand the Electoral College and all of these, uh, did not get the attention that they thought it deserves. The NPP USA, for example, has been very loud. They say I, the Electoral I College must I personally, I endorse that stand. Okay. You know, in August 1992, we met in Legon to select our flag bearer. 30 years down the line, look at what we are doing now. 30 years, three decades. Excuse me, you were not even a small boy. Now, see, African politicians must learn history and we must learn from the lessons of history. We need to broaden the electoral college. These things must be taking places at the constituencies so that the individual at the constituency will feel the effect of the party. We should broaden it. Card bearing members, paid up card bearing members. Elections at the constituency. So the paid up Cadbury member will vote at the constituency. Sunyani Domase, Sunyani Brekum, Domai Hikro, Wemfie, you know, Bechem, Dryan Quanta. Then the man will go home and say, eh, 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 me can home be, na ye ye, chairman. That is the dramatization of politics. So we, we need to. 30 years we are still. <laughs> pursuing that path, honestly speaking, and I've made this suggestion countless occasions to build the new patriotic party and the NDC. Look, we need to be up and going. We need to revise our political news. We need to make sure that, look, people will not feel marginalized or satellite. The, the, the MPP spirit should always be seen bubbling and running. And we can do that when we go to the grassroots. 
No, look, it is very, very important. It is the grassroots that determines the fate of every political party. So at all times material, you must be with the grassroots so that you can get their attention, their support, their loyalty. So I fully endorse the position of the U.S. No, it is not the position of the U.S. I think that as far as Africa is concerned, we must do that. Nigeria, PDP, the congregated as a place. APC, the, Nigeria, with millions of population. So Africa, look, we need to up our game. We need to wake up, you know. Before I let you go, uh, Mr. Bribwahin, the former president, former president John Kufo, has been speaking to us in the last few days raising some questions you know about factionalism in your party he's spoken about monetization of politics and all of these how have you dealt with the factionalism in the party so we are up to this point my uncle four speaks who am i <laughs> let me borrow somebody's words my uncle four speaks <laughs> who am i who am i you know, so let me borrow it from a leading member of the MPP. Right. President Kofo is an embodiment of the new patriotic party. If you want to talk of the 1947s, yes, Kofo may be a small boy by then. In the UP tradition, Kofo. In the Bridges regime, Kofo. Popular Front Party, UNC, Kofo. New Patriotic Party, Kofu. So once Kofu has spoken, let me borrow the words of that politician. Who am I? Thank you very much. So now, Bibuahin, 